So this is Winston, a lovely, lovely Persian, very fluffy pussycat. Now, Winston has been to us before when he was a little kitty. He was little, weren't you? And he's grown somewhat now. <laughs> so he's developed a lovely coat. The problem is, unfortunately, this little fella has managed to get fleas, even though he's an indoor boy. So this is the thing with fleas. You never know where they come in from. So mum has been um, messaging me, trying to find out what she can do with him. Because what's happened with having, she's put a flea collar on him. And of course, uh, collars on long-haired cats does not go very, very well. So what has now happened is, if you can see under here, he's got these huge big clumps that have developed. Big pelts. So they're going to have to be shaved away. They'll be very uncomfortable for him under his chin. He's got them this side as well. Big, big clumps here. So again, big one there. That's a really big one. So he's going to have to have all this shaved away. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do, we're going to give him a belly clip and a bum clip. Just to help mum get over this flea problem that he's got. Now, while he's been here, we've managed to find one live one on him, uh, which we've managed to catch. And there was a dead one on him, actually, which I've removed as well. So I've just been talking about mum saying, can I use him as an example for what you do with fleas? And she said, yeah, go for it. So the first thing I always say is don't always blame the cat. <laughs> it's not always the cat's problem. They go to the cat to be fed. So they'll jump on the cat, they run up to their eyes for drinks to get uh, moisture from the eyes, nose, mouth, or they'll run to the bum and do the same down the back end. So this is the feeding zone for the fleas. Um, so the first thing I always say is treat the house. So I asked mum to purchase one of these. So it's just a little plastic trap with a light bulb on. And you get sticky pads to put in the bottom. So you can see there, they're not fleas caught there. They're just like little little flies, little bugs. But it captures the fleas. Because what happens is, if you leave them on overnight, they only cost pennies to run. The fleas are attracted to the light. They jump, land on the sticky pad. So always go and try and sort your house out. Don't always go for cats straight away. Once you're happy... Just literally, you can keep those on overnight. So I've got two, two came in a pack together and I have one upstairs, one downstairs, anywhere where the cat goes and you can just leave them on overnight, which is, they, they are fantastic. Also then, you can purchase yourself a plastic flea comb. Now the reason I like the plastic flea combs as opposed to the metal ones is because what I do, I will, they're very, very fine teeth so they capture the flea and that's how we got the other one before so you will go in if you think if you can see fleas somewhere so we'll try sort of down the back end you would go into here oh, i thought that was a live one then it's not that's another dead one there um but what i do i get myself a little cup with some hot water in so you can see there's actually two excuse the dirty cup because i just grabbed it when i saw it um a flea very quickly so there's two fleas already in there so what i do i dip the plastic comb into the hot water and because it's plastic it doesn't maintain the heat and i go in and i'd comb through the hair and if i see them then that captures them it traps them and then very quickly if you think you've got a live one i dunk straight back into that hot water and then the hot water actually kills them and you can drop drop everything into the water there so all that's come off there is actually a lot of the flea debris flea poo that's just come off with that comb it's not an actual flea um, and then also speak to your vet about getting flea treatments and the best person to speak to about it is your vet 
because they usually will give you ones that you can't find in the shops um, and they do act quicker because what happens the fleas actually become tolerant to whatever shop bought ones you're putting on your pussycat so I know it'll cost you a little bit more but go to your vet and they will recommend a good one for you to use right so with that I'm going to crack on and get his belly clip done and then we'll see properly then if or how many he's actually got in his coat you be a good boy for me babas hey Winston oh Winston right so let's start this side with me being right handed good boy it's a really pearly baby and a really pearly good boy a good boy so you can see all the flea debris on him so he has had fleas but he may well be on the ends of them which mum will be pleased we'll see once we get a little bit more of this clipping away so the reason I'm clipping under here is because Obviously, the fleas love warmth. So, hi, right, baby. Okay, Papa. Good boy. So, they will go anywhere they can. So, like these rolls of fur here. All right, baby. Let me just show everybody these rolls. Hey, can we show everybody these rolls? So, in between his legs, he's got these clumps of fur where, where we need Mum to try and keep brushing because they've developed, so he's got them. I always call them sausage rolls. And this one here, you can see that one a bit more clearly. So that's a pelt. And the fleas love those, because they're like a little nest. So we're gonna try and get those off him. All right, baby. <laughs> All right, Wriggler. So, let's see a couple of dead fleas. Nothing running. boy what a good boy Winston that's come off nicely nothing live which is good. He's got such a lovely coat on top. I didn't want to shave the whole coat off just because he's got fleas. Um, and I'm glad we made that decision now. Right here, we've got a live one. So, let's just see if I can... Uh, let me get on quickly. <laughs> Live on camera. Can we make it? Where's it gone, Winston? They just bury themselves. So that was only a little one. 
haven't managed to catch that. Fortunately, I didn't get the comb dipped in the water in time to try and catch it. So I'm going to keep that handy in the water next to me here. So if I find any more live ones on him while I'm doing it, I can just whip them away for him. Right, babies. Good boy. Should we go this way? Do a little belly penny that way? Good boy. Come that way. Good lad. And to me. Good boy. She's got a few knots up here as well, haven't you, baby? before I go any further. So this is like the back of the legs. Let's see if we can get that with the molten comb. Oh, are you helping, Winston? Are you? Those nasties off me, please. I think he wants those off his chest desperately, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, you sweetie pie. I'll get them off in a minute for you. Yes, I will. Oh, you're eating all your hair. So they've come away. Just with the comb there. It's a case of getting in at the back, teasing them open with your fingers. You good boy? Oh, stop eating that. I'm going to get those off for you. So there's a really tight one here. There's no way that will come out with the comb. I'm just going to shave that one off for you. And you won't know it's even been removed, will you? Hey, that lovely coat. Good boy. So I'm going to start here actually, rather than carry on with the belly for a minute. I'm just going to start on these because I know they're driving him a bit bonkers, aren't they? Okay, we've got a live one. Where's it gone, Stephen? Yeah. There it is. So I've just dipped that comb in the hot water. I've managed to catch that flake. Lovely. It's gone straight in the cup. It's actually quite satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually quite satisfying, Winston, catching those vivlies. It is. Right, let's try again. So they're up around the head because obviously they've come up for a drink. Good boy. Right, these are very tight. Aren't they? So he's going to look a little bit odd around the head obviously with taking these away but I've got no option good boy so I'm trying to keep his head away from me and his lovely, lovely whiskers. And get under this. Okay. Okay, babies. Okay. 
So you can see where the skin is pulling, where the pelts have been there. Pink, very pink. So we'll treat him with some tea tree just to calm that down as well, once we've got all the pelts off him. Good boy. Oh, that feels better. So that was tight, very tight. So that's what a pelt is. All right, Winston. Very matted, very tight. That's what a pelt because it looks like hair on the top. But it's like, I call it like a Brillo pad here that we have in the UK. Can't move it at all. So that's one big one gone. I bet that feels nice, doesn't it now? Oh, yes. Oh, I can have a scratch now. Should we do the other one? Let's get this side. We'll do the same on this side because this is really big. Okay, baby, let me come that side. Okay, good boy. So here we are, right on the ends of her uh, finishing Winston's groom. So he has had the full belly off all around his bum. And we've had to take all the full bib off the front of him here um, just because he was so pelted around this area so he's, we, we've had to shape his face in and trim all here so I'll just show you his tummy as well so on the tummy oh he's gonna do a roly-poly for me he's, he's wet because I've sprayed him with some tea tree so oh he says I don't want to show everybody my tummy thank you so I'm just gonna give him a little wipe in a minute because this is still flea poo here so I'm going to give him a wipe over with a little wipe, clean him up, and he's basically ready to go, aren't you, the gorgeous Winston? Hey, and then he can go back home to mummy, and hopefully we've conquered these fleas. I've literally found four on him, and we've caught the four. So um, he was nowhere near as bad as what mum thought he was. You good boy, aren't you?